In the CS market, there are occasionally events that occur that completely shift the entire trajectory of the market. In today's video, I'd like to explore some of those events. Essentially, I'll include an overview of the events and explain the effects that it could have on the market. And as a result, it'll give you guys a good idea of how to prepare for these upcoming events that are actually confirmed. So we'll get into that right after a word from our sponsor, SkinSwap. This video is sponsored by SkinSwap. So SkinSwap is a marketplace and trading site, and it's got a ton of great features. If you want to swap out some of your old skins for new ones, you can go ahead and use the Trades tab. They've got a huge inventory of different items to choose from, but if you just want to instantly cash out your skins, they also have a sell feature that allows you to put your skins in and get paid directly. Or you can even use the site as a regular marketplace, and you can buy discounted skins directly from their inventory. When you use the link in the description, you can get a completely free item, and also SkinSwap offers a 40% deposit bonus. So go check out SkinSwap with the link below. Thanks! Okay, let's go ahead and begin with an event that I've got a lot of questions about, which is the Chinese New Year 2024, also known as the Year of the Dragon. So the Chinese New Year is on Saturday the 10th of February, and technically the entire week from the preceding Friday to the next Thursday is celebrating the Year of the Dragon. So historically speaking, the Chinese New Year has had a relatively small effect on the actual CS market. If there are any movements that are kind of too small to attribute to only the Chinese New Year. However, this upcoming New Year is a little bit different for a few reasons. Firstly, we have a new game. But the second factor here is actually that it is literally the Year of the Dragon. There's two factors could increase the magnitude of any shifts if they occur. And the reason this is important is because China's main team, Tailu, is actually based on a dragon. This has led a lot of people to speculate that the Year of the Dragon is going to cause huge price increases for Tyloo stickers. Now, whether I agree with this theory or not, I'm a fan of it because it is a really interesting and unique take. However, there's not really enough historical precedent to show that that will actually occur. Personally, I don't really think the market will shift too, too much. I think the market will shift upward as there is more festivities and more money. There should be a higher encouragement for the Chinese market to buy skins. As a result, I can see the high tier market being affected the most, but again, this is mostly just speculation. We could have very similar effects to prior Chinese New Year's where the market doesn't really move at all. And now on to the next major event, which is also a well, major, the Copenhagen 2024 CS2 Major. So as you're already probably all aware, major tournaments are a big deal for the markets because they release a new iteration of major tournament stickers. Historically, every single major year has been a successful investment in terms of the fact that it has returned to profit. Even if Copenhagen major stickers are absolutely terrible, there's very little evidence to suggest they can fail as an investment. But the really big thing to bring up here about the Copenhagen Major is that we now are doing it on CS2. This is something that I think has been overlooked a little bit. You have to take into account that this is the first Major that we're going to be playing on CS2. This is going to be a huge event that I think will have a ton of eyes on it, because I believe many people will be interested in seeing how the Major plays out now that we have a new engine, especially the people that have been super negative about CS2's gameplay. It should end up being a really big and pretty controversial event. At the moment, we're about four months out, so if you want to, for example, buy into Paris or one of the other Borderless Ticker years, and out the speculation wave that grows as we get closer to the major, then now is probably the time to do so. Now as for the design of Copenhagen stickers, obviously I don't know what they'll look like. I would expect them to be bordered because we've had three borderless sticker years already in recent times, so bordered would make more sense to not cause fatigue, but it's Valve and they're unpredictable so we don't really know yet. Anyway, that's another big event that you should be aware of. Now, the next event that I want to talk about is an operation. At some point we will get an operation in one form or another. Those are not only integral to CS skin creators and the CS economy, but they're also integral to keeping CS's gameplay fresh. By giving people a upgradable coin and stars from challenges. Now my opinion about the market specifically based on an operation is a little bit different than most people's. The generally accepted theory is that the next upcoming operation will cause the same effects that previous operations have to the overall market, which is that most things start to go down because people are selling the old to buy the new. Now my take is that I think this year will be different. We've had such a huge lack of content since CS2 was released. I think that an operation can only help to increase the player base, and I think that player base increase should outpace any mass selling going on, and actually I believe the market as a whole will go upwards. However, this take is of course counterintuitive to what other people think, but that's what I believe so you can figure out what you think is true. To prepare for an operation, I would just make sure that you have a lot of liquid funding. Generally speaking, skins are cheaper at the beginning of operations, and most skins continuously rise as the operation goes on. Generally speaking, grey skins at the bottom of collections are extremely cheap and historically have very high ROI, so generally speaking, grey skins from new operation collections should be pretty solid options. You'll want to make sure that you choose the operation collection with the highest demand overall. Usually this is determinable by the covert at the top of the collection. Now we don't know when we're getting an operation, but it's all but guaranteed that we will get one sometime in the future. If we look back at the previous operation release dates, it would make sense for an operation to come out before 2024, so sometime in November or December. Monetarily, it would make a lot of sense to release it in December when people's spending is the highest. Now another big event, which I also think has been overlooked a little bit, is actually new weapons getting added to CS2. Now we have confirmation that this is going to happen, they talked about it in the interview, the Valve developers said it themselves, Now the previous weapon additions that we had were things like the R8 Revolver and the MP5, which were very lackluster releases. Now we don't know if the next release is going to be something totally meta-defining or if it's going to be absolutely horrible.
adorable, but in general, new weapons means a ton of new skins, and therefore potentially a ton of new investment opportunities. This one we know very little about, so I'm just going to move on to the next point. Keep it in the back of your head that the CS developers are planning to release new weapons. Now the final event that I want to talk about is one that we've already observed very recently here, and that is the correlation of the crypto markets changes to the CS markets changes. We've actually seen many times now that when the crypto market is doing very, very good, people tend to move their money out of CS and into the crypto market, causing the CS market to decline. Recently, this major dip that we saw mostly on the high tier side of the market also coincided in timing with one of the bigger crypto runs that we've seen in a long time. Now, obviously, it's extremely hard to link these two events together, but it would make a lot of sense. And if there's potential major declines happening in the crypto market, we could see a lot of people moving back into CS and therefore causing the market to go up. This is more of a relationship rather than an event, but crypto seems to have enough staying power by now that we will probably experience some inclines and declines in the crypto markets, and as a result, inclines and declines in the CS market. I'll keep watching both markets and really try to map out if there's actual correlation. Anyway, those are the major upcoming events that I think could shift the CS market in major ways. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. A little bit of a different analysis on the market. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it. Costs you absolutely nothing and helps me immensely. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for the best CS investment tips anywhere else on YouTube. Check out my Discord server and my Twitter with the links in the description below. I'll answer all your questions completely for free as long as I have time. And finally, make sure to check out SkinSwap. Thanks guys. See you next time. Peace. Thank you.